everyone welcome back to my channel this is Amy today we're going to be setting up my October planner so let's go ahead and get started All right I've got my coffee here I've got my planner I've got a whole bunch of stuff over here to the left so let's get this all set up so first I just need to put back in um, the stuff that goes here which I had in here for the month. I also need to find where, there's the end of August. Okay, so I never decorated that for September, but that's okay. All right. So I put everything into this because we went to Disney and I just had my journal and my planner and all the things in one so that I could carry it nicely. Um, so I'll take everything else apart later. Um, but here's how it looks for the month of September. I think it looks really great. Um, I do need to back plan for the last couple of days because I usually don't fill it out on the weekends and then I just fill in what we did. Um, and then we're just at the beginning of the week here so I can fill that out later for what our plans are for the week. All right, so today we're going to be setting up for October and setting up the planner with anything else that I want in it. So first, let's just add a few things to the front. So I do want some daily pages to come up to the front because I will be using a few of them. Usually I use one or two a week. So I don't need a divider or anything like that. I just keep them at the front and use them there. Let's just grab a little stack and we'll put them right here. The other thing that I like having is some note paper in case I'm taking notes on anything. So I have this fun um, paper that I got from the Happy Planner that's the Jewel Tone, Jewel Tone Jungle paper. So again, I'll take some of that and put it behind the daily pages. Just so that I don't have to run down and find paper if I need it, you know, in my crafting space. Okay, then other than that, this I got recently in one of the Nightmare Before Christmas kits. So we're just gonna put it in at the front. Um, because I think it's really, really cute. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to the beginning of October and put in another from here. These are, let's see, so I've got envelopes. I don't have, I don't have another um, divider. That's okay. We'll just let it be. Is there anything else I want? I want to use this throughout the month because, you know, Halloween and stuff. So I'll just leave that out on the table. Um, and I think we're good on just all the little additions that we're going to put in the planner this month. But now the main thing is to decorate the monthly spread. So if you haven't guessed with all these things coming out, I'm going to use the Nightmare Before Christmas sticker book this month. I think that's really cute and I haven't used it yet. So we'll go ahead and decorate this spread with all these fun stickers. Okay, so I definitely wanna use like the Frog's Breath and Worm's Wart stickers. I think with these things, we might, they're not clear stickers, which is the problem, but we still might want some Distress inks behind it. Well, here are some clear stickers. Yeah, let's get some purple, green, and red distress inks to match. Okay. So here's my pile of distress inks. Um, get the little blender. Let's see. So this color closer to the dusty, the dusty concord. And then the red color, I 
think I can do light aged mahogany. I think that'll be best. And we'll get a little bit of hickory smoke in here as well, just for some dark. And then let's go with pine needles. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is be very aware of where I'm putting these things, like choose where the sticker is going to go and then put the distress ink down um, for these clear stickers. So let's start with zero because he's one of the bigger stickers. And I think I want to put them over here. So let's just see how that's going to work. We're going to need to white out some stuff, which makes distress inks harder, but I think we can still do it. So this to the 2nd of October is going to be pretty covered, but I don't use this for everything, honestly. I put in some of the most important things, and usually weekends don't have super important stuff on them for us. So that's okay. I know I want to put something on the first because we're seeing an out of town friend that day, but the second shouldn't have anything. Okay, so zero is the one that's going to be with the pine needles color. And we can go ahead and use this for it. So what I like to do with distress inks is pick up some ink and then dab it just in case it's one of the colors that's like really deep. And I don't need much color. Just a little. Um, and it does look a little funky with the tape, but with zero over it and all of that, it should be fine. I'm also going to add a little hickory smoke, like fading in and out of it. And that is not the hickory smoke color. Well, we're just going to make it the hickory smoke color now. <laughs> see how yeah that's hickory smoke okay I'm just gonna put like a little bit there a little bit here and blend that in a little bit in the middle just so it's not all one color underneath it's got a little bit of depth to it all right so now we'll go ahead and put the sticker down like that and we'll come back and fill in you know there's these cute little spider webs and things like that we'll fill that in once we've got the big ones in all right so then this sticker's huge it's not really gonna fit here so we'll use this little one um and then we'll also use this smaller one so this one's bigger than the other one. So we'll put this one over here and let's figure out where it's going to go. If I can lift it up off the page. There we go. Okay, so I think somewhere in the middle would be good. I'm trying to figure out how to not cover up everything. Let's go like over the 7th and 14th, taking up the most of that space. So again, we'll white out like that. And down. And up. And do the same exact thing that we did with the teal pine needle color. <laughs> um, yeah, this one's one of the darker ones, so I have to be careful the color comes out really, really fast on this one. <laughs> so dabbing before I put it down. Ooh, I'm picking up some of the tape, whoops. Put it down softer right there, okay. Now we'll go ahead and add in a little bit of the gray, just again for some depth to it. 
not much. It doesn't need a lot. Um, just to make it so there's some other stuff going on in there. Okay, that looks pretty cool so far. All right, and then, let's see, how big is he? Okay, here we go. Where do you want to be? Maybe just like right there. And all we have to do is really, I guess, right here to not have to cover up a bunch. Okay, so we are just going to make, well, he's on black, so the only thing we have to do is take off the 18 and a little bit right there. Because his black clothing will not have problems being, having the line show through. And so for him, because he's got purple everywhere, we're going to do a little bit of purple in this space. And this is one of the lighter colors. I need to refill the ink pad. So I don't need to dab this one. Okay. And a tiny bit of gray. By tiny bit, this is a really small area, so really tiny. <laughs> need to put a little more purple down because when you pull up white out you pull a sticker up off of white out a bunch of the white out comes off okay better I need to line up the letters so they're not over the black line apparently there we go all right spooky charm zero keep dreaming Okay, and then let's go ahead and get some of the other things in while we can, and then add in some of the other clear stickers. Put worms ward over here. I'm trying to think of how to separate out all the colors um, since we have teal here. This one would be great over here. Right. I'll cut off all the edges later. Seeing if there's something that can go right down here. Add you in. There we go. Kind of covered up the 23, but I know what it says, so that's okay. Okay, these are really great, these big ones right here, but um, they're way too big for this. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go back to the clear stickers and start adding some other fun things in. 
Come on, little spider. Okay. And that's pretty full over there, so let's go ahead and add it right here. is a good one to add. I have to remember that we have like all of this to fill in potentially um, if we want to. Alrighty. So I think just adding in some stars of different colors could look really fun up in this area. Because we've got like the teal, now the pink, we've got purple over here. Usually I put like boxes into this spread, but I'm not sure that I'm going to because there's so much going on. It might be nice just to not have boxes in here. All right, that's looking pretty good. Just a few more things to fill in. Get some more teal over here. Maybe one more big sticker right down there. I think that's pretty good. Here are a couple of gold stickers we can add those in too. Maybe one on each side. Let's add, we have this space right here. So this is a nice sticker to add some more purple over on that side. It all starts with a dream. I could put something here if I find something. some of these bottles, I guess, kind of layer them. Ooh, bats. Let's add some bats to the spread. We'll put one way up here by the moon, and we'll put the others throughout the spread. So we've got one there, one here. One right down here. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm just gonna cut off the edges that went over and then we're done. Right, got all those little pieces off, and now let's put it back into the planner. I'm just gonna put these away because I never end up putting them away, and then my desk ends up being a mess <laughs> and takes like 15 minutes to clean. So this time we're cleaning right now. All right. Right 
here. And I think we're done with planner setup for the month. Um, I'll try to film another video with my currently page because I didn't use one in September and I definitely want to get back into it. So be on the lookout for that. All right. Well, here is my planner setup for October. I hope you enjoyed it. Please click that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't yet. See you all next time. Bye.